Hey, Tony from Alpha Blossom. Today I want to show you how to add a background image carousel to your ClickFunnels landing page. Uh, before I do that, though, I just want to say I'm not the biggest fan of carousels. Uh, in most cases, I think they're overused. They can add a lot of overhead to your website. Uh, they can add a lot of distraction. And in a lot of cases, people are not interacting with them. And I think they're basically just taking away from the design of your page. So they do have their uses. I think they're great for testimonial sliders or in some cases if you're if your page is for a luxury item or real estate, things like that, I think they can add some appeal to the page as well. But definitely be careful how you use it. I know people ask for this, so I wanted to put together this tutorial to show you how to use it. So let's get started. We've got this basic landing page, which just has a basic opt-in and a static image in the background. We're gonna change that image so that it rotates through three images and we're using the backstretch JS library. So let's go to the ClickFunnels admin, and I'm gonna edit this in the new editor version two, so let's click on that to open it up. Once we get in here, we're gonna delete the existing background image by going to settings, background, and we're gonna delete that, and it is gone. So now we're gonna, add a snippet of code to the header, and we're gonna start with the jQuery library. So we're gonna add that to the header tracking code. So let's copy that, and let's go back to settings, and then we're gonna go into tracking code. It's gonna open up the new window here, much better than the previous version, by the way. And we'll paste the code in there. And next we're gonna to go to the footer code. So let's uh, copy our backstretch JavaScript library, and we're gonna also copy the um, code to initialize that, which includes the images that we're gonna use. So let's paste that in there. And you will see, we've got the images here. So you can just copy these lines and add more images if you want, or if you just want two images, you can edit it. Very important, make sure that you're using HTTPS. ClickFunnels is loaded on SSL, secure pages. And if you don't have the HTTPS, if you're only using HTTP, your visitors are gonna get a browser security warning, which is not ideal. So make sure you do that. And we're gonna click out, save, and preview. And you'll see the image is loading up. It's gonna rotate through the three images and it's just an infinite loop. So it'll just continue playing. You can adjust the settings. Um, in the article, we'll explain to you where you can find those settings. We have a link to, to the backstretch page. So if you want the fade to, to be slower, if you want the duration to change, you can adjust all of those settings. And one last thing is, I didn't optimize these images. The file sizes are huge, so it's a little glitchy, a little jumpy. You definitely wanna optimize your files. Uh, you wanna make sure your images are as small as possible while still maintaining a quality look and there's some online tools that you can use to also further compress them to uh, get them as small as possible. So definitely wanna do that. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. The code will be in the article, so you can just copy that if you want and make the necessary changes. And if you have any questions or difficulties, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot, Tony from Alpha Blossom.